This week on Enviro 2 Muse, we've got Paul Safry talking about reptiles. Really different because we live with them all the time and we have no idea of it. Paul works with them as he rescues them. It's, a, it's an aspect of wild things that we don't often cover. In Karingai, we're surrounded by national parks. This means that there's a lot of interaction between wildlife and urban areas. And that's why the work of Sydney wildlife is incredibly important. Now we have here uh, Paul, he's got a, a few animals that he's brought along today to, to give people an idea of what they might expect to find wandering around in their yards one day. Well look, would you like to show us the diamond python? Now, uh, I happened to see this python uh, a little while ago. This one is a little bad tempered, so there, <laughs> yeah, just a there could bit. be some anxious moments. <laughs> <laughs> he struck at my coffee mug. I mean, come on snake, <laughs> get a yeah. grip. <laughs> oh, he's going to come out on his own. Now when I say him, I don't know what gender this snake is, but you might be able to see as I wouldn't be putting in. my hand there, mate. No, that's all right. You can see at the back of his head there, the, the reason that he's in care. There's, there's some scales missing here. He's a little bit apprehensive because my hand's near him. He's a very agitated snake, which is most unusual for this species. I've rescued at least a dozen in this area, and <laughs> oh, you have to have a sense of humour doing this thing particularly if he, if he bites me, but... Now, um, what would happen if he bit you? Um, they have... It would open me up. He's, they're not venomous, but they have razor-sharp teeth in there for when they strike and hold their prey. They have to hold the prey, then throw the coils around it, like it's sort of like it's doing with me now to... They are a constricting-type snake, and so they throw the coils around. They don't crush them like people believe. There we go. No, don't you bite me. Um, is they when the animal or the person, the animal, not the person, breathes in, they tighten the coils so that they can't breathe out. So it's not actually crushing the animal, it just stops it from breathing. Now, for people who aren't in Sydney, this is a common snake in Sydney, and you can really expect, if you live in Kringai, to see one on a fairly regular is, basis. I'm, now, how lucky are you? How many large international cities are there in the world where you can find a beautiful snake like this? The snake's just come up and, and, and tasted me. It's actually flicked my face with its tongue. I'm oh, really? not worried about it because I can't stop it biting me. I'd rather get the, the benefit of the, the snake out there. Now, I believe snakes taste like chicken. Is that true? I don't know. I've never had the... the uh, that uh, was a trick question. <laughs> never, never eaten one. I'm too busy rescuing them. That injury, it could have been a dog attack. Yep. Um, but it's taken some scales off. It's not infected. And he's, uh, you probably pick up the sound of his tongue on your microphone up there now. But... Uh, <laughs> It's extending about two feet from my arm to the camera, which is quite a, quite a feat. Now he's going off at that tree again. This, this pits, this groove along under his jaw is actually heat sensors. So they, when they're at night, when they're hunting at night, they can sense the heat of, a, of their prey through those pits. Plus the, the smell of the pheromones that are coming off the animals that they're testing with the tongue. If you like my scarf, Peter. It's, it's, That's it's not too bad. It's a bit warm for this time of the year, but it's, uh, it, he's not squeezing. He's just, just feeling comfortable around me, or she. Um, yeah, the snake bite thing is just the, the hospitals can identify from venom that's left on the skin from the bite what sort of antivenine has to be given, they can analyse it. Um, it does help, but I'd suggest to people, just leave snakes, snakes alone if you're not, if you don't know what they are, leave them alone. If your kids, tell mum and dad or an adult, don't try and touch them because they're surprisingly quick, and sometimes you won't even know that you've been bitten, they're so quick. So we have Tasha uh, here, yeah. the wild things officer. It's all right, it's just sniffing you. <laughs> right. It's tickling. It, that, that for me is the most wonderful sensation, that, that method of locomotion. Now you uh, just relax a little bit. Yeah, relax just, the arm. Just, yeah. the arm. You're, you're relax the up. arm, yeah. It'll react to your tenses. Yes, okay. ah, in with the good air. Okay. <laughs> That's quite comfortable. So you've relaxed, it's relaxed. And that, if it was going to bite you, it would have done it by now. Yes. Okay, so you see a snake, right? You're at home, you see a snake. Who do you call? Well, you can call this mob the T-shirt that I'm proudly wearing um, with Sydney Metropolitan Wildlife Services who are based at Lane Cove National Park. Um, we pride ourselves in, in answering a telephone 24-7 and the phone number for those that uh, are watching this video segment is 9413-4300. What was now, that? 9413-4300. 
Well, look, Paul, thanks very much for coming and showing us some of the fantastic reptiles we can find in Kuringai. Good on you, Tash, for having a go. It's a bit hard to walk in on a shoot and just be thrust on. I have a snake thrust upon you. When you live in Karinga, I think you've got to accept there's going to be a lot of reptiles, there's going to be a lot of snakes. People like Paul who work for council and are doing rescues all the time, not only do they rescue these animals, but they're educating people. And I think Wild Things too has this component to it that we're not just placing beehives or captive breeding blue tongues, we're actually letting people know that these reptiles are fine to have and exciting to have. There's a, there's a great satisfaction of getting an animal into care, rehabilitated and then re-releasing it. It, it, makes, it gives you a good feeling.